by a rapper, okay, recently, that she believes most fans of women rapping are not really hip hop fans. They're just fans of the persona of the women rapping. They're fans of that individual, but they're not really hip hop fans. Mm. They're just fans of a particular artist. Interesting. Right? Mm -hmm. And so I would challenge all of us to start to examine that because sometimes we are allowing people who are not hip hop fans to dictate the hip hop conversation because hip hop is pop sometimes it is the popular conversation mm -hmm. and so we're watching people who are just fans of whatever's popular mm -hmm. talk about someone who happens to rap and thinking that's a hip-hop conversation it's not a hip-hop conversation it's a pop conversation mm -hmm. and those of us that really understand the culture of hip-hop need to start to try to distill that down a little bit better mm. if or, that makes any or sense or ignore it ignore it's an option too all right. So what do you think about that? Do you think that fans of hip hop today and he, he specified female hip hop? I don't know if it matters, but are people fans of the person and not the art form anymore? And I think I know who he's talking about. I think I know who he's talking mm -hmm. about. But are they fans of the personas and not the art form? I think yeah. who come who came to mind immediately who I think he's talking about some like Cardi B. Mm -hmm. Cardi B is just such a personality. Mm -hmm. Are people fans of Cardi B or are they fans of Cardi B's music? Well, I think for me, I think um, I think fan is the wrong word to use, right? Um, you know, fan is the abbreviation of fanatic. Mm -hmm. And so I don't feel like I'm a fanatic of hip hop. But I am a fanatic of college football. I am a fanatic of NFL. Like mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan of that, right? I don't know if you can be a fan of a. For me, I can't be a fan of a person. I can be a fan of something, but I can't be a fan of a person. So but, I don't say but there I'm are. A, but there are fans of people. Like for years and years and years, hip hop. Uh, there were fans of the art form, but today there are people that are just following people because they like them. Right. Yeah. I think that's the point he's making. Yeah. That there are people that are fans of Cardi B. They like to hear her talk. They like to hear her make jokes. They like to hear her respond to stuff. I don't know if they like necessarily her mute. How many people mm -hmm. like are just how many of the people who buy her stuff are doing it because they like hip hop and they like the 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 craft of hip hop? Well, see, that's the that's the thing, right? That's why I brought up the sports the sports analogy because I'm a fan of a team, right? But when that team player leaves the team, I'm not still a fan of that person. This is a hard analogy to football because it's so different. There's, well, it's a team. There's players on the team. It's a it's a sport you would watch regardless. Like right, and that's why I say people have to be a fan of the art form and not the person. You see what I'm saying? Like you can be a fan of hip hop, but you don't. But you can like Drake. You know what I'm saying. I can be a fan of hip hop and like T.I. I personally don't call myself a fan of hip hop because of everything that it represented when I was growing up that I realize now was tainting my mind. So I can say I am a I like T.I. I like Lecrae. I like their music, but I won't necessarily say I'm a fan. So then you then you uh, fit into this thing. Are you a fan of Lecrae because you are a hip hop enthusiast and you love the craft no. of hip hop so then you are just a fan of Lecrae no I like Lecrae that's not, that's a, you're a fan of yeah, Lecrae right. but I wouldn't have to say the word fan though you're hung up on I'm the not a thing. fanatic of Lecrae forget fan you you like Lecrae you don't necessarily like hip hop that's the point he's making no I, I like Christian hip hop you like the craft of Christian hip hop I do I do I like but, but here's the thing though because we do what we do it's hard to call yourself a fan when you consume so much of it. I'm going to challenge you on you're a f fan of the craft of Christian hip hop. Mm -hmm. You you are a fan of metaphors, wordplay, uh, on double entendres, multis. You're a fan of those things or are you just God. a fan of the person? That edifies God. What if, what if the song... Because I can listen if, to... Because, okay, On the Radar, right? Yeah. I listen to the, a lot of the artists on On the Radar. I don't know them. I'm not a fan of their music, but I like the song. I can like the song. I can like, oh, this is some nice bars. So 
that made me so you're you're a casual fan of metaphors multis similes entendres right. you're not like a deep super fan of them. right remember right. when i went through my uh my phase uh battle rap yes i liked i liked what uh loso said i liked what a, a ward said i liked street hymns i liked mm-hmm. um the saga but i wasn't a fan of the art itself right you know what i'm saying so I just liked that one person, and then I kept it moving. So you agree with him? I agree with him. Okay. <laughs> this took a long time to get it. <laughs> Jerry. I am a fan of CHH. I can't really narrow it down to like being a fan of an artist because I don't know what that artist does in his personal life. There you go. That's so a good one. That's I'm more a, a fan of the artistry of CHH I think versus a person. But when you say artistry, I think that this is the this is the difference. Hip hop heads. That's why right. I wish Jeremiah was here. Hip hop heads. They love the punchlines. Yes. They love the mm-hmm. the references to other things. They love the 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 bars, right. the rhyme structure. Right. That's what they care about. So mm-hmm. when somebody does it well, they're like, that kid is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Versus fine. Yes. I like the personality of KB. I like the personality of Lecrae. I like what Lecrae represents. That's different than liking the craft of hip hop and picking the person who's best at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I do like the I mean, well, I, yeah. So I like so then what we're saying is what's correct. It's correct. He's right. Ebro's He's right. right. Yeah. He's right. People like um Yeah, I yeah. Yeah. Now, I think it does cross the lines to be dangerous. I would love to find a different word other than fan because I do think a fanatic of Beyonce is dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay. Because I think you are um you're to the point where you're almost I mean, I remember a friend ex- de- describing to me her experience at a Beyonce concert. And I'm like We don't hear people talk about their worship experience like that. So why are we talking about it was a, you know, they, they described it as um, it was a man was the word they used. It was so because when I, my eyes popped open when they said it, it was a she didn't call it an experience, but it was transformative. They used some really <laughs> strong words. And I'm like, the only thing supposed to transform you like that is the Holy Spirit and worship. Bars and Beats mm-hmm. said, if you cannot appreciate a rap song because you don't like the sound, then you're not a fan of rap. You're a fan of some artists. Okay. So, um, that's interesting. So, uh, Jose Morgan asked him to explain. So, let's see. Let's see. Bars and Beats, explain what you mean. Because, yeah, that that's that's really it. It's, it's, there, there are people who are fans of the art of rap. There is a craft to it. It's poetry. All right? Mm-hmm. And... As a spoken word artist, I can tell when somebody is good at spoken word. I can tell when somebody is good at rap. And whoever can do it, I'm going to like that song. I don't care who it is. I'm not just a fan of the person. I'm a fan of whoever is good at it. There are people now that are just the fans of the people, and they could care less if they're good or not at it. But it's, it's a- just the, the way that you like it, though. But it has to be the way that you like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's, a, here's a good example. I'm not a fan of spoken word. Dang, bro. All Ooh. this time? No, but <laughs> you were the first person that ever did spoken word that I listened to. So when you did it, I, f- I heard you do it on a Friday, and then I came back the next month to hear you do it again, and then the following month to hear you do it again, mm-hmm. and then I met you. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And when I met you, what was the first thing I told you was, and I'm a big fan of your spoken word. Okay. See what I'm saying? So I started coming back because I liked what you were doing, but I wasn't a fan. I don't. Go, I've never in my life got on YouTube and said, for spoken word. "Let me look for spoken word." Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, me neither. so yeah. So like I'm saying, so it was it was um, it was me liking you yeah. as a person yeah. and how you delivered it um, versus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I I get what you're saying. I think I think there's a there's a combination of two things. You may not understand why you liked what I was doing, but I was using principles. You edifying God, and that's another. That's what okay. I said. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying. You're you, using you're using as long as somebody is. But there were other people on on stage doing the, that too. What's the difference? I enjoyed them too. That's because that's okay. How I so all of all too. of them. Okay. I enjoy. So because you okay? You're a cheerleader of anybody who is able to 
do something Present for God, God in a unique way. In a unique way. Okay. Yes, that's gotcha. exactly it. You're a fan of that craft. Yes. Got gotcha. you. Okay, yes. that's good. All right, so I don't know if Bards and Beats responded yet, he but did. keep it. What do you say? Uh, Fasor Jose Morgan. Uh, if you can't appreciate the arts, bars, metaphors, storytelling, despite how it sounds, boom, bap, or trap, you're not a fan of rap as a whole. No, I'm not. You have biases towards certain sounds. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, because I can't stand certain coasts. <laughs> yeah, just being honest. I, I mean, I'm from the South, so when I hear when I hear East Coast stuff, it's like, if it's not... It, there are certain artists that I like. Mm-hmm. I like Method Man. I don't like mid, I don't like Red Man. I like uh, I like Common. We're gonna get canceled. But right. and I like Jay Z. But I don't. Li- but I like certain songs. I don't have a Jay Z album. I've never purchased a Jay Z album. Yeah, you're a casual rap fan. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. 